Hello everyone, what's up? It's me again, Yokmaster3, and what do you know, this is, it's time for the uh, top 5 of the month for the month of Dece uh, this September. Uh, like you can probably tell, this is a very delayed video. Uh, I've just been tired lately, very tired lately, and like, nothing's really haven't had that much energy to make a uh, video, but uh, yeah, uh, let's begin with the, yeah, let's begin with the uh, list. So these are the five best films that I watched during the month of September, and like usual, it's like films that I've never seen before, so uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, at number five, we have a Western film called The Rio Conchos, uh, with Stuart Whitman and, um, uh, what's that other character, uh, Jim Brown, I believe? Is it Jim Brown? I'm completely wrong about this. Well, it's strange, but I just had some recollection that Jim Brown was in this film. I'm not really sure why. Maybe he's not in the film. Yeah, Jim Brown. Sorry, I just had to double check for some reason. I just never real. I didn't really remember that. But a Rio Con shows like you can probably tell it's a Western film, uh, and it's a very good one at that. Uh, I didn't give it like a super high rating. I gave it a seven out of ten because it was a really entertaining and fun uh, little like western film with really, really good like chemistry between all of the main actors in it uh so uh, yeah rio conscious at number five at number four we have a film called lost dance from 1996 with sharon stone i know some people seem to say that oh sharon stone she's a she's a terrible actress and stuff like that I'm like why i mean obviously you haven't seen this film because i think she did a really nice job in this she's the main um character in the film and she plays like a prisoner that uh, she wants to convince people that, well, she was not guilty of this crime. Um, so it's sort of like a weird like courtroom drama type film. Uh, it kind of sounds boring to a certain degree. I mean, you, you do get some sort of flashbacks as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think her performance in this was really great. I think that's the reason why I liked it so much. And it's a very like sad and downbeat film throughout the entire film. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you do like prison films or like courtroom drama films in general, I can highly recommend this one. So uh, Last Dance from 1996 uh, on number at uh, number four. And then we have uh, I'm not sure if this is the original title because I think I have this under another title on my DVD or like my uh, DVD release of the film. But uh, at number three we have Edge of Honor. Uh, from 1991 with uh, Corey Feldman, uh, Meredith Selinger, Selinger and uh, also Don Swayze. I think Don Swayze played like one of the main like bad guys in this film. Um, and this is from 91. I think I'm not sure if I said that, but yeah, from 91. Um, it's basically about this like camp of boys. Uh, they're like out camping and whatever, like in some like wildlife scenario sort of way, uh, and they stumble across these really, really like dangerous weapons out in the middle of nowhere like in the woods uh, and obviously the people that other people want the weapons back but they do realize that these are like basically like terrorists trying to um, uh, start with their own own thing so to say uh, but uh, so it's basically them trying to escape from these like terrorists in the woods uh, I think that's the reason why I liked it so much because I mean you you probably know me from now on but I really really like films that takes place out in the wilderness or like in the woods or forests areas and whatnot uh, so I think that's the reason why I liked it so much as well so uh, yeah Edge of no Honor at number three and at number two we have a film which I would say has a whole lot of similarities with uh, Five Nights at Freddy which was released on, in theaters not too long ago uh, but this is the film that came out uh, two years ago called Wheelie's Wonderland uh, uh, from 2021 with uh, Nicolas Cage. Um, I think it's just so glorious that the fact that, I mean, Nicolas, this is not really a big spoiler or anything, but I mean, Nicolas Cage barely has like any, I don't even know if he has any single line of dialogue in this film. It's just the screen presence that is just really amazing in this. And he's sort of like a, an unlikable character to begin with, but then you really grow to uh, like his character the longer into the film you get. Uh, he basically uh, is forced to take care of this, um, like, uh, closed down, um, like, um, some sort of restaurant or, like, some area for kids and whatever. I'm not really sure we call it, like, a playhouse or something. Um, so he needs to take care of this, and obviously the uh, creatures themselves start to um, start to uh, come alive, so to say. So it's basically up to Nicolas Cage and a bunch of kids trying to take care of these uh, monsters basically so it's a very similar storyline as to like uh, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's but I thought this one was way better and much more interesting uh, but maybe that's just because of Nicolas Cage not really sure but uh, yeah Willy's Wonderland at number two 
And at number one, we have a film directed by Ron Howard. The film was called Backdraft. Backdraft. I'm for sure I probably butchered the name. I'm not really good at pronunciations in general, but uh, from 1991 with uh, Kurt Russell and William Baldwin, Robert De Niro, among others. Um, great cast, great uh, atmosphere, and a really s kind of sad and sad story in general. And it's a very it's a good film. I actually gave this a 9 out of 10, which is a really high rating. The only reason why I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 was because I thought some of the twists towards the end didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, and like the motivations for what like what happened or like what these like characters and whatever, what, why they were acting the way they did. Uh, that's really the reason why I didn't give it a higher rating. But uh, other than that, I think this is a really phenomenal film and very underrated in general. So yeah, back, backdrop, the number one. Uh, this is from 1991. I think I'm not sure sure I probably said that, but uh, yeah, uh, that's this is the uh, that's the end of the uh, top five of the month for the month of September. Uh, next video is going to be the uh, horror thumb video, which is probably going to be way longer because I have to go through uh, 31 films. Uh, and like usual, I I don't really I don't really need to pay too much attention to the ones that I didn't care too much about. I was going to mention that I watched them and I thought, well, that was bad and that was quite garbage, but. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the ones that I enjoyed and like to get you guys like more uh, suggestions as to what type of good horror films there are out there that might not be that that well known as well. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this particular video. So keep your eyes open for the horror horror film video and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.